sliding mode controller based P and O NVPT. So here we are using 250 watts panel, right? So 250 watts panel. So here you can check the result of uh, current voltage and power voltage capacity for different irradiation. Okay. And then this is boost converter. And here we are using load. Okay. So here we, we are having uh, PV measurement. Here we are measuring PV measurement. So that measurement, here we are going to measure the voltage and current of the PV panel. And it's going to be processed via P and to MBPT. This is P and to MBPT. So this P and to MBPT will generate a reference voltage. Okay. So based upon uh, the change in voltage and the change in power. Okay. So here we need to fix three parameter. That means before you have to fix the uh, four parameter known as the initial voltage, maximum voltage, and voltage. So this is uh, change in voltage. Okay. So you have to fix this four parameter, and then you have to fix uh, the previous voltage, previous power, and the voltage. The previous reference. Okay. So here we are checking that. Uh, that means the V volt, P volt are G and the DD has value or not. So initially this does not have any value. So that's why we are putting value for V volt, P volt equal to 0, 0 and the V reference volt equal to initial voltage. Here we are calculating the power, change in voltage, change in power. Okay. So based upon this change in power, first you have to check change in power less than 0. This condition true. Next, you have to check, check change in voltage. So, change in voltage is less than zero. You have to determine the voltage or you have to increment the voltage in order to get the maximum power. If change in power is greater than zero, again you have to check change in voltage. Here, here also you are going to change the change, check the change in voltage is less than zero. If it is less than zero, you have to increment the voltage or decrement the voltage. Okay. So after increment decrement, so just you have to compare the reference voltage in between whether it is yes, in between maximum minimum voltage. If it is not a maximum minimum voltage, then you have to maintain reference voltage with the previous instant voltage. So every iteration you have to override the, the current voltage power and the reference voltage with the previous voltage power and the reference voltage. Okay, so you keep on executing in order to get the maximum power. So on the output of uh, V reference is going to be compared with the actual P voltage and then it's going to be processed via sliding mode controller. So this is sliding mode controller. So if they it received two inputs, one is error, another one is data change of error. So this is a sliding window. So this is sliding window for the sliding mode controller. Okay. So it will provide some control signal. So that control signal is processed via history. Is uh, relay or history is controller, so it will generate the pulse for this IGBT to extract the maximum power, maximum power from the PVPAN. So now I am setting that uh, the irradiation is 1.8.6.4, so it can be vary every 0.2 seconds. That means 1800-600-400, so it can be vary every 0.2 seconds. Okay. So we'll check the results. So here we can see the power, PV power, then load power. So here we can see the PV voltage and the load voltage. So here we can see the PV current and load current. So I'm going to show you this model. So this is a PV power and uh, this is load power or boost and output power. So this is PV voltage and uh, boost converter voltage. So this is PV current and uh, boost converter current. So it uh, this method is extracting the power from the PV panel. Okay. So these are the results of this uh, previous method. Okay. So next we move on to 
the extension version. So instead of uh, PNDO MBPT, so here we are using neural network MBPT. Okay. So here we are using neural network instead of PNDO MBPT. So how that neural network is trained, right? So further you go to PV model. So in this PV model, you have to provide the detail of the solar panel we used, right? And then you have to generate the random temperature and the radiation. And then you have to collect the input data and the output. So here input will be radiation temperature, output is the, the maximum power from the PV panel. Okay. So once you have to simulate this one, so you will see the result here. So this uh, input data, this output data, then you have to use the command and then start. And then click fitting up. And then click next and then select the input and select the output and then click matrix source and click next click next click next and then train a model so here after running here you can see that r value so r value should be is 0.9 should be equal to 0.9 and r should be equal to 1 then the, our collected data or trained data will be are both the same okay next goes to click click next next and then it comes here right just to get to click simply diagram and then you can use this neural network right so this uh, the developer neural network the corresponding input okay. so this neural network can be used here right so it going to be received two inputs one is radiation another one is temperature okay so it will provide the, the reference voltage okay so I used the same thing only, right? Same model uh, as it is previous. Only we change this uh, neural network algorithm concept, like MBPT concept. Okay. So now uh, here also same condition only we are using. Okay. Whatever thing we discussed in the previous method, same thing we are doing. So here I am going to select the model. So this is a result of uh, extension version with the new network. Okay. So this is results. So here you can see that some changes in the voltage, right? But is but we are not see that difference in the previous method, but we can see the difference in the PV voltage because uh, according with the change in elevation, the PV voltage will be changed. Okay. Okay. But then you can see that variation here, right? So the PV voltage when we vary depends upon that uh, uh, irradiation temperature. So by using that uh, neural network based sliding mode, so sliding mode control based on neural network MBPT. Okay. So this is uh, a working of uh, the previous and uh, extension version of the MBPT technique for solar PV system. Thank you.